new alternatives to high-end and luxury makeup this is one of my favorite videos to get together and i know that they're your favorite videos and we're going to do that please remember that i do have a numbering system where a number will come up on the screen and you go down into the description box look for that number the product that we were talking about will be right there along with the link color any information that you might need to know about that also, I know that many of you always ask about what I have on for makeup, clothing. We do the clothing at the end so that you can see just a little sampling of that. We push that to the end, so stick around if you want to see that. Let's jump into it. First of all, this is a tub of the highly rated Brazilian Bum Bum Cream. Now, I have heard it said that this is called Boom Boom Cream. Maybe that's the case on the island, but around here we call it a Bum Bum. The Brazilian Bum Bum Cream is this rich, yummy, smells like a tropical island cream that everybody has just lost their complete noodle about, me included. I love how rich and creamy and yummy this is. I love the smell of it. It's vanilla, it's coconut, it's a little bit of tanning oil from when you were in the 80s and you were baking in the sun all day long. I love this fragrance. It's also supposed to really help with lifting any parts that you want to, including its namesake. So this is a great cream and I have loved it for years as I'm sure some of you have as well but this has got a pretty big price tag but this one right here I ran across very recently this is from m3 natural bum bum cream firms tighten smooth skin's appearance collagen amino acid stem cell extract that stem cell is from fruit and then it goes on to talk about some other kind of butter I can't I'm assuming it's like a shea butter, avocado oil, and caffeine, tropical vanilla scent. And yay, baby, this stuff smells so good. And it smells almost exactly like it. It's got the same exact thickness as the Sol de Janeiro does. As the Sol de Janeiro does. It's just a really great cream. Very, very hydrating. It's got that signature scent, that tanning oil just on the beach scent. I think why I like it so much better than the Boom Boom Cream or Bum Bum Cream is that it's a little bit less overwhelming of a scent. So, and sometimes when I put, it's like certain times of the month or, you know, some different things are happening with me, I'll put on a fragrance and if it's too heavy, sometimes it can turn weird on me. Has anybody else had that happen? So I really like this because it's a very light fragrance and I wear perfume as well. So I wanted to make sure that they don't compete, but yes, this one is eight fluid ounces and so is this one. So excited to share that one with you. I think I may have shared this with you, but I don't think that I put it in a dupes video quite like this. So this is the Jouer powder and it is called the Soft Focus Hydrate and Set Powder. I don't notice that this has a lot of hydration in it, but as you can see, I have hit pan because this powder is super light, super airy, super fine. And for mature skin, most of you realize, hasn't caught my necklace. For mature skin, most of you realize that putting on a heavy powder can just make you look older. Most of us want to find a powder that is very fine. And this one truly, truly is one of the finest milled, lightest powders that I have ever tried. It is a very, very good powder. And I definitely will be repurchasing it. But what I also want to share with you is the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Powder. It has that same consistency to it. And I've got a pretty good divot going into this one too. Now, this powder has a little bit heavier. As you can see right there, you can see the ColourPop one. And then I'll put my finger into here and you won't be able to see the one from Jouer quite as much. So if you can tell the difference, ColourPop and then Jouer. So it's a little bit heavier in that it has a little bit more coverage, but not in thickness or the milling or anything like that. This is every bit as light and airy and beautiful on mature skin. It's just milled so very fine. And I do feel like this one from Jouer and it are so comparable and you're not missing out on anything if you do decide to pick up the ColourPop. Okay, this next one kind of surprised me somewhat because I wasn't expecting to find it. And it is from Huda Beauty and this is her blush sticks. And they've got this little bit of iridescence in them, not iridescence, 
pearl in them, but they're not glittery or anything like that, but they do have a beautiful shine to them. And hopefully you're gonna be able to see that with the light catching it. It just has a really pretty sheen. Now this one is called Proud Pink. So that is the one from, let me take, keep that cap off for a minute. That's the one from Huda Beauty. This is from Catrice, and these are the Cheek Flit Face Sticks. This particular one is in Techno Pink. And again, I really wasn't expecting this because I just happened to be going through my, you know, my blush drawer. So this one, Techno Pink from Catrice, I will concede that that is a little bit darker. When you sheer it out, it doesn't matter at all because they basically turn into the same color whether or not you build up the Huda Beauty one or sheer out the Catrice one. But you're getting that same glow in both of them. You're getting the same exact feel to them. Their consistency is the same. I love this one. I am saying that it's not an exact duplicate to it, but I am also saying that it's pretty darn close. And I think once you get that sheared out, you're definitely going to see that they are almost the same on the cheeks. Let's stay with blush. And this one is kind of odd to be talking about a drugstore product, which is Juvia's Place. And this is their liquid blush and it applies with a doe foot applicator. Let me find out what this one is called first. This is called Peach Rose. Applies with a doe foot applicator, big applicator right there. Just a dot of it, this is what I have on my cheeks today. Just a dot of it goes such a long way. As a matter of fact, that's probably way too much if I was wearing it on my cheeks, but you get the gist of it. It is very saturated, very pretty. It's really nice on your cheeks and it just kind of melts into the skin, doesn't disturb the foundation. It's very pretty. But this one I found from Makeup Revolution, just a liquid blush, blush balm, and this one is called Savage Coral. So when I, well, first of all, can you see they're just like, it's exactly, exactly the same. I dabbed that one and I was like, oh my goodness, Yes, they are exactly the same. And I was just in shock on how close they are. Now, this is where the little bit of difference is. I will concede that the Juvia's Place is a little bit thicker and more saturated of a formula. But what I won't concede is that the Makeup Revolution does stay on a little bit longer than Juvia's Place. I believe that this one from Juvia's Place is around 18 and this one, I think it's around 10. If not, I'll correct it right here on the screen for you. Just so close, and again, I do have it on either of my cheeks, and I bet you can't tell which one is which, but you definitely can save some money if you go with the Makeup Revolution. Okay, I've got some lipsticks for you, which I'm really excited about. One of the first MAC lipsticks that I ever purchased myself is this one right here, and it's called Creme de la Femme. It has a little bit of a frost in it, but not too much, and it is this perfect, mauve beautiful tone. I love wearing this uh, over a lip liner and it just being a little bit of highlight. I wear lip gloss that has highlight in it anyway. So, you know, this is kind of skipping a step, but I do love this. I've purchased this tube over and over again, probably since the early 2000s, whenever it was released, even before I was into YouTube. This is a beautiful lipstick and I will forever love it. But I did come across this one from CoverGirl. But basically, when I saw this one, I'm like, oh my goodness identical. They feel the same. They have the same slip. They're a satin. I really do love this color. And when I was in there looking around and going, oh, well, yes, they are definitely very close to each other. I feel like high-end luxury lipsticks and drugstore lipsticks, that is where you should be able to very easily change. I mean, if you want to buy a high-end concealer, I get it because I do prefer so many high-end concealers. But when it comes to my lipstick, it doesn't really matter to me because it comes off a little bit faster. You're reapplying it. You might go through a tube of lipstick before you go through a bottle of foundation. In this instance, to be able to find one that I've been wearing for years and that looks so much the same, bonus. Another lipstick from MAC. And I love this one as well. I'm a huge MAC lipstick person. This one is Creme de Nude. And it's a really light, almost a cream sheen. And I don't know if you've heard that term or not before, but if you're into MAC lipsticks, you know what I mean. It's like a hybrid between a gloss and a satin. So you're not getting a ton of pigment. You're getting just the right amount. And the reason that I love this so much is because it just blends with absolutely any 
lip liner that you put on. It doesn't matter. But I did find one that's almost identical. And this one is from the Sephora Glossed Glosses. And this one is so pretty. And look, I just cannot believe it. You can, you know, build this up. I'll build this one up and then I'll build up Creme de Nude as well. But this is that same buttery consistency, the shine lipstick, the pretty, just gorgeous finish. I was like, okay, folks, we've got some good stuff going on here. So I really do love both of these. I actually think I might like the Sephora one a little bit better because what happens with the Sephora one is it just melts in with the lip liner and it just looks so, so natural. And you kind of have to build the MAC one up a little bit more, but I was sure happy to be able to find an exact color and the exact consistency. Last one I couldn't be happier about. House Labs has kind of become one of my favorite companies as far as how nice their products are. They have this lippy product in House Labs that looks just like a pen. Just looks like your regular unassuming pen. And this one says that it's called the Le Monster Lip Crayon. I don't know why I should call it Le Monster. Mauve Matte. So here's what it looks like. It's just a regular crayon. I assume that there's not much more product in there than that. I haven't gotten down that far quite yet. But I love the formula on this. Now think the Sephora liners, lip liners. That's what it's like. Only those lip liners are a little bit shiny. This is very matte. And I do love this. I think it's a beautiful consistency. It's very hydrating. I just, I really think it's a great one. But the Maybelline, this is their Super Stay Ink Crayon. I think it's called Stay Exceptional. And so you get the same rounded tip. Let me show you. You get that same rounded tip. As a matter of fact, they're almost the exact same size. And this color, very, very close. Very, very much the same. It feels the same. It has that same little bit of grip and slip to it. It feels moisturizing, but it's a matte and it, it just feels good. It just feels really, really good on your lips. And I'm so excited about this one because I do know that the one from House Labs is quite a bit and the one from Maybelline is always usually around nine or ten dollars. So anytime you're looking for a lipstick, I feel like that's where we can really look at something and go, okay, can I find a better deal here? I hope that you did enjoy this. Now let's take a look at what I have on. I show you these leggings every time I'm on air, but the difference is, is that these this time, they are a gray pair. I love these. They're compression leggings and they come all the way up to under my bust. And the reason that I do that is because I had that surgery. And so these just suck everything in and are holding me while I'm continuing to heal. It's going to take about a year to heal, believe that or not. Not pain, just the internal things that they did, which is a whole other thing. So this shirt is so sweet and so cute. And I'm getting into feeling this time of year and just getting excited about changing colors on makeup and clothes and everything. This is an eyelet sleeve, little puff sleeve with a little gather. I just thought it was very, very feminine. So the jewelry is gold jewelry this time. This is a hoop that is probably about an inch and a half and it has little rhinestones in it. It's got like two hoops that go around the rhinestones so they're in the middle of the hoops. And then my necklaces, I did buy them separate, but I love this little teeny dainty heart. It is just so cute. So it has the heart right here, and then it has the little heart that lays on the side that is just adorable. And then over here on the top, this is a separate necklace, bought these separate. This is a link chain, and the hearts are all links. So I just think that's so pretty. That is everything that I have to show you today for my cheaper and better by this, not that. Thanks so much for being with me today. And if you're new to my channel, smash that subscribe button. And we would love to have you here as a part of our family because these ladies are exceptional. And I am so happy to have them surrounding me and being my group of friends and support. They're just amazing. And I know you're gonna love them as much as I do. So please be happy, be healthy, take care of yourselves and come back and see me really soon. Love you much. Goodbye, my friends. <music>